If you've got the sniffles, there's a good chance it's more than just a cold. According to Houston's COVID wastewater testing, this as a new variant takes over parts of the country. Lauren Tallarico breaks it down. Houston's wastewaters confirm what health officials thought was going to happen after the holidays. A couple weeks ago, you know, it really started taking off. Dr. David Purse, Public Health Authority for Houston. In Houston right now, it looks like the average positivity rate is is 20 percent that's pretty high right it's, it's actually it's very high so you know it's one out of five people who are going to the public testing sites are testing positive the viral load in the wastewater has also spiked coming in at 659 percent and that's just the average the park 10 plant towards katie reports a 1241 percent viral load and a test positivity rate of 29 percent but if you're not hearing about lots of cases there could be a reason. I think that what's happening is I think a lot of people who have partial immunity, whether a previous infection or they got vaccinated, when they're becoming infected now, they're becoming so mildly ill that they may not even be testing themselves and just going about their day. In other words, they're treating this pandemic like an endemic, like the cold or flu. According to Houston Methodist, which tracks the COVID strains and variants, the most recent numbers show the XBB variants taking over much of the country only make up 14% of Houston area cases. The BQ variant is still most prominent. And although hospitalizations are lower than they used to be, Dr. Purr says we should still be taking precautions. One thing about COVID, unlike the flu, is, is COVID, we know, will attack any organ system. You know, so I don't trust COVID. Health officials say the best protection from severe illness is still a vaccine. Although the CDC reports only 15.9% of eligible people have gotten the bivalent shot that targets the latest variants. So for those folks who remain unvaccinated, uh, yeah, they're still at great risk.